a great deal of what we throw away is useful and valuable. In effect, we are burying money. But it doesn't have to be this way. Food, for example, live in North London and you can throw a half-eaten apple in a compost bin. It's collected and taken away to a processing site. Then it's treated, turned into high-quality compost. Now it can help a tree, with all its valuable apples, to grow. But in England, only a quarter of councils provide this service. The urgent message being given by MPs today is that we need to learn how to reuse resources. It's about waste altogether and it's really moving away from the throwaway society that so many of us have been brought up in, got used to. But how? Each local authority does recycling differently, not even the bins are the same. More is spent managing waste than on housing or planning, but the UK is set to miss European targets. If you take a plastic bottle and you want to recycle it, you don't know even which bin to stick it in. These are really obvious problems that we could sort out today. And if we did that and we delivered that plastic bottle or whatever to a reprocessing factory, we could capture the value in it. Look at the value here. All this had been thrown out. Technology is endlessly evolving. We all want the latest, we want the best. And the old stuff, well, we just throw it away. When actually, all it needs, like most things here, is to be taken off the shelf powered up and turned on. A computer being repaired, now a rare sight. Today's report says companies like this should be rewarded with tax breaks. If we can grow what we're doing, um, it'll be massive. Um, obviously, we're here to obviously make money as well, we're a business, but from the sustainability point of view, from the environmental impact, if we can grow what we're doing and have more of an impact just in London, um, that'll be hugely um, beneficial for the environment. More valuable rubbish arrives. The government says it's investing in this area. It will respond to the committee in due course. Claire Marshall, BBC News, London.